Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, with a new patch coming very, very soon, someone on Reddit actually already translated all the skill changes. Um, I'm going to provide a link below to the Reddit post if you guys want to look at all the whole entire list of all the skill changes. There's going to be a lot of rebalancing, and the list is very, very long, so I didn't decide to, you know, put it all into this video. I'm not going to talk about all of it, but I'm going to be talking at least about the significant changes um, just a little bit, and it is pretty much in relation to my update video as well, like just um, with my progression. So, uh, I think the number one big thing for most people is the Fire Succubus change. Um, if you, I think a lot of people already keep this monster. She is the best of her element. So, her change is basically her 5 star skill, instead of it being 60%, it's gonna scale with her crit. So if you have 100% crit, it's 100% defense down. So if you're building her for crit, um, it should be pretty easy to get to 100%. And with this skill relying on crit as well, crit is going to be very, very effective on her. And it's basically just a buff. There's no way you have less than 60% crit if you're using a Fire Succubus. So um, no matter how you look at it, it is, it is a buff. Um, unless you're using her like really, really early game. But then it doesn't really matter because at the point, by the point where you're farming um, like at least five star gems, you it will like you'll already have more than sixty percent crit. So she's she's just gonna get stronger, much much stronger, and she's already a really really good monster. I'm just really happy because I do have her evil three and also have her as a variant. So that's really really good news for me. Now the big changes I think are to the wood nightmare and and the wood and the water shiva. Now a lot of people are disappointed with the change to the Water Shiva. They, they really think he's going to be like a really, really OP monster. I don't think that's what the devs intended him to be. They basically just made the Water Shiva a monster to use for, um, for sapping. They're basically changing his recovery down to sap. And so he's going to have thirst and sap. And that's actually pretty good, to be honest. Because if you guys watch my... Um, my speculation video on on the the whole golems like the update video i i basically i speculated that the b8 golem the fire one is gonna ha be like like sap's gonna be really really effective against him so he's gonna be really good against the b8 golem if you happen to have him um and you don't really need to have much i think he's just basically gonna be a stronger monster that newbies can use and you can use them for like TLC in the future because you know there, there's that sapper floor that's really annoying, and and yeah that's pretty much it. Like stat wise he's pretty good for a sapper because he's he's tanky like he's he's got lots of HP, and that's really all sappers need. He doesn't have too much attack because you don't need attack on sap sappers. So yeah, stat wise he's perfect just for sapping. Now the water, the wood nightmare change is they're basically changing her taunt skill to the, be the same as the water nightmare, which is adrenaline. Um, I wouldn't say it's too useful because she is a defender type, so she doesn't have too much HP, even at evil three. And yeah, this morale boost is still only thirty percent, so I don't think it's going to be, be she's going to be all that good. Probably will still feed her into my into my water one once I get another nightmare. Um, there's a lot of rebalancing to light and dark monsters. Now, there are three changes that are going to be really, really important for me. One is the light Loki. Now, this guy has just become the best, like, attack down, defense down monster in the game. Um, well, not in the game, but, like, out of all the nat 4s, I think. He might be comparable with some, some of the nat 5s, because his first skill is getting changed to 60%, but it's going to last for three turns. So he's going to have a three-turn attack down on first skill for 60%, and a 70% defense down AOE on his second skill, which is huge. It's going to be, it's really good. And he also has a really good leader skill. And I happen to have a variant Loki as well. So he's going to be really, really good if I can get him to evil 3. Um, he's balance type. You can gem him any way you want. I think he's just going to be an all-around really, really good monster for any of the um, Titan stages. Because you can just, because the good thing about a three-turn attack down is you don't have to always land it. If you land it once, it lasts three turns. And basically, um, you don't have to really worry about it after that. And then he can even die. Like, if he lands attack down before he dies, it lasts for two more turns even after he dies. So that's going to be really, really nice for, for fighting the, um, the Titans or clan battles in general. Um, 
The other, the, I think the biggest change is probably the light wild thing. If you guys watched my yesterday's summoning video, I summoned a variant wild thing. I was just super happy. Um, so I can definitely make her a variant. So this is going to be really useful if you want to charge up bars really fast. Um, you know, maybe for farming or something like that. And she's going to basically get her first skill changed to 100% defense down for two turns. So she's going to be one of the most reliable armor breakers in the game. And she's going to be added onto the list of 100% armor breakers. Um, so now there's five. And stat-wise, I think she's pretty good. Like, she, she's balance type. So what this means is you can gem her... Like, if you're trying to gem her for utility, maybe for a golem speed 10. I could do, like, uh, just defense double attack. Or, yeah, probably defense... Or HP defense attack, depending on my team. Because if my team has enough damage, like, everyone has enough damage, I might be able to do, like, double attack. And then just nuke through everything. Because um, the boss isn't going to be too threatening, he doesn't have a shield anymore, so if I can just continuously land armor break, I will be able to do a lot of damage to the boss. So he's, she's probably going to be really, really nice. The other thing is, the other two monsters that are going to get buffed, or the other last monster that's going to get buffed is dar the Dark Tiger. Now, this guy I can get to... Um, I did do the Tiger Fusion, so I have another Evil 2 Fire Tiger, and I have like two other Tigers lying around. And basically what's going to be changed is his morale boost is going to be get changed to Battle Rush. So Battle Rush is the, the Shiva or Dark Odin skill. Um, they have basically it restores 20% of HP and SP. So that's going to be really, really good for him because he has a really, really high HP pool. So he's going to be a really good um, self-sustaining self -sustaining utility monster. Yeah, because he has so much HP. So, so Battle Rush is going to be really, really nice on him. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for, for, for my planning. Now, I think my next, the next thing I want to do is maybe just summon three wild things. I kind of don't want to use gleams on her. I can make her to evil two plus two, which I think will be good enough. Um, and then she'll be really, really close to evil three. I just need three more wild things. I'll be able to feed these two into her and then she'll be evil two variant. And then I'm planning to basically sack my other two wild things. I no longer have any uses for these two wild things. So I'm basically just going to be feeding them into her. I really don't need them for anything anymore. Um, yeah, it, it kind of feels bad to like feed away six stars. But I think it's all, it's all part of the progression of this game. If you have another monster that you really need to evil three, um, it's definitely worth it to, to feed away some of the extra monsters that you don't necessarily... 100% need. So yeah, that's going to be pretty good. Um, all right, I think that is pretty much pretty much it in terms of update. Now the next thing I want to do is definitely do some summons. I have another few eggs here again. I always have a few eggs because I I'm like constantly farming golems. You can see my gold count go up, go like way way up. But uh. Yeah, but, but nothing else going up. Like my Astro Gem going down, gold going up. Probably need to convert this back into Astro Gems very, very soon. And do a few 10 plus 1s during the Heroes Festival. Or maybe save it for for that rebirth, that Mona month. Um, Alright, let's just hatch these eggs. Do a few rebirths. Alright, if I don't summon anything good, I will be able to do two rebirths. So there's a there is a good and bad side to that as well. You know every time I pop an egg, the the thing I'm hoping for is that variant Cupid. I'm still waiting for it. Man, when I talk about variants, variants come out. It's, it's pretty crazy. Oh I got I got my last tiger that I need. Yeah, I can definitely make my tiger um, evil 2 plus 1 now. So that's pretty good news. Okay, another C star. That's that's actually pretty good. Come on, I need some wild things. 
Also, all the Beth Beths are getting buffed. That's actually pretty funny. Maybe we'll get a Light Dark Beth Rebirth next month. Okay, I didn't summon too many good monsters, but that means that I will be able to do more Rebirths. And I think I also need to keep my Julys as well. Dang, I have another Dark July I need to level. Now, I don't need the Beths. I don't need these guys. So these guys can definitely go. Hmm, no luck. Really, no luck at all. Yeah, I no longer need the candlings either. I already finished my um, my tiger fusion. All right, not too lucky, but I did manage to get another tiger, which is really good because I will be able to just get get this guy to evil two, um, evil two plus one. I might as well do it now to save in inventory space, to be honest. And since he's getting buffed, I'm definitely going to be raising him for the future for for PvP and stuff. I found out I actually made a mistake in the update video. There still is no point in doing PvP because only the number one... The, I thought it was the heroes that get it. Like I thought it was like this, just the top, maybe like 100 people can get the Holy Gleams. But it's literally like only the top player can get it. Um... So that's actually pretty sad. I was saddened by that. There still is no point in doing PvP. Alright, let's just make him evil too. Save some save some inventory space. Alright, he looks much cooler at Evil 2. Might as well feed this evil 2 fire tiger into him as well. Save one more inventory slot. Now I might as well um, do that to my other wild thing as well. Just make him evil 2 plus 2. And I think I'm going to be 6 starring him uh, during the next light day. I, I can't 6 star him immediately because I don't have enough light stones. But during the next light day I'll probably just 6 star, six star her. I mean. Alright, I can unlock two wall things. I don't have another water wall thing. Maybe I should in order to get the extra astro gems. No, I I, I kinda do need her immediately, so I can't wait that long. I just gotta hope I summon a water one in, in my next three wild things. Like this, and I can make her a variant as well. Oh wait, did I did I grab my reward? I didn't grab my reward yet, right? I need to grab my reward. My quest reward. Sometimes I forget when I when I do things on video. I never forget when I'm farming Astro Gems though. Never forget. Ooh, she looks so good as a variant. The light wall thing as a variant looks looks insanely like just it looks the color scheme look just, it's it's beautiful, that's that's all I can say. Ooh, this is this looks awesome. Alright, so that is pretty much it. Um, now I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna be leveling some monsters and since I can't use the light wall thing right away, I'll probably use a few replacement monsters. Like I maybe I will um, for B ten use like use these two and then maybe like my other two light monas or something like that. That might actually work pretty well for B ten. Now the other thing I wanted to do is actually gem up these monsters. It's about damn time I do it, and I don't know how I should gem them up though. Because if I have enough attack on all my monsters, I can literally do, um, I can do like double attack defense, and they'll be able to sur survive. If I can just nuke everything hard enough to, to like clear through one whole wave. 
but no, it might not be too reliable. I might need like two defense gems on the July to make her survive. Or either that or put her on like a life or protection set. I could do a defense double attack protection on, on July. That might actually work. It's hard to gem light monsters because they don't have that extra crit rate. Or they have the extra crit rate, they don't have that extra crit damage. So you basically still just gem them like normal monsters, you just gem them with attack. Um, it's unfortunate that they can't do that much, that too much damage. I was also thinking of testing out the Thor and Indra for the boss. I'm gonna actually wait one more day. I'm gonna actually wait for the dungeon to come out, test out a few teams before I invest in a lot of gems because I don't want to use up my gold. When I can turn all this gold into astro gems and summon a bunch of 10 plus ones. Get those sick nat fives. But yeah, I finally Evo 2'd a lot of my um, light dark monsters in this video. So that's that's definitely really good news. Um, anyways, uh, th that is pretty much it for this video. That's really all I have to do right now. That's all I really can do right now. One more day until the update, so well, I'm just going to be patiently waiting for that. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. So hopefully you guys are just as, just as excited as I am. And I'll see you guys tomorrow after the update hits. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.